A little boy is playing soccer and swimming, living life to the fullest. Two years ago, he was in a wheelchair with a feeding tube. He wasn't sick. He wasn't hurt. His mother was putting him through a living hell. Today, she was sentenced to prison time for faking his illnesses, forcing doctors to perform unnecessary surgeries and stealing eight years of her son's childhood. Here's Matt Howerton. It's difficult to have to go, go home and tell him that his mother is going to prison. Ryan Crawford's broken emotional voice. But his safety is what's most important. Bookends, a long chapter of suffering for his son, Chris. For eight years, the little boy was a victim of medical abuse. 323 hospital visits, 13 surgeries, shackled to feeding tubes, wheelchairs, and the entire time, Doctors discovered he was healthy, totally fine, yet here he is. Why? The answer lies with Chris's mother, Kayleen Bowen Wright. She has time to think about what she's done. Who is now headed to prison after taking her son to numerous doctors, claiming he had serious illnesses when he didn't. They finally got it right. Luckily, it wasn't too late. Prosecutors say yes. Bowen Wright went to extreme lengths, saying Chris had cancer, seizures. They even claimed she told some he had muscular dystrophy. Similar cases have been linked to Munchausen by proxy, a mental diagnosis where parents make up illnesses to get attention, though Bowen Wright was never diagnosed. Either way, doctors who finally figured out what was going on say this kind of medical abuse is hard to spot when a parent is adamant their child is sick. Our natural instinct is to try to find an answer. Judge Ernest White sentenced Bowen Wright to six years in prison for injury to a child. From the bench, he said, I can't picture what it is that would compel a person to take their child repeatedly over and over to treatment and surgeries. Today, Crawford's son is 10, healthy, and all they want to do now is move on. For my own peace, I forgave her a long, a long time ago. In Dallas, I'm Matt Howerton.